What I'm grateful for is probably having skin cancer because it's allowed me and given my life a sense of purpose and a sense of reason to have a voice. It's like, actually, let's talk about something that's really important here. I'm going to be one of those old women that come up and go, no, 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 and you go, yeah, whatever. <laughs> that's what I would have done at 16. Go, who are you? Go away. I used to catch two buses and a train to get to Bondi Beach. We basically were just like basting rotisserie chooks. We'd just keep rolling over. There was no acknowledgement of the dangers of the sun there. I'd been through um, some times where I really didn't know what part of my face was going to be removed. And that my whole career has been my face and my voice. So you go in and you think, well, how's this going to turn out? And that's pretty horrifying. I've had those dark moments, but I've come through it pretty much unscathed. And I know there's going to be more of those moments to come. But I think, you know, okay, well, bring it on. I'll just keep talking about it, you know, and the uglier the pick that it is, the more impact it's going to have.